Hey everybody, how are you guys doing today? Hope you're doing awesome. So the look I have for you is a mermaid look. And I wanted to do something different, something very colorful. So this is my mermaid look with purple eyebrows, purple lips, green and blue skin, all that good stuff, some scales that I have going on. So if you would like to see how I got this look, stay tuned. Alright, to start out this look, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids with my Urban Decay Primer Potion and the Anti-Aging Formula. And I already did my foundation with my powder and my eyebrows. And I did my eyebrows with the purple color called Urban from the Electric Palette, which we'll be using later. So same way I always do, just their purple instead of black this time. I'm just going to get this all over my eyelids on the top and, and the bottom. Alright, so for my highlight color, I'm just going to be using my Maybelline Expert Wear Eyeshadow in Vanilla. With any small kind of condensed brown brush, I'm just going to run that under my eyebrows. And right in the inner corner. So next I'm going to line my top and bottom waterline with my Jordana 12 Hours Made to Last Eyeshadow Pencil in Eternal White. I want my eyes to be like really nice and bright. So next I'm just going to be starting my eyeshadow and I'm going to use this palette for my whole face. This is the Urban Decay Electric Palette. It's amazing. So with my fingers, I'm just going to start out with this color all over my eyelid. The color here called Fringe, it's basically a dark teal. So I'm just going to get this all over my eyelid. Using your fingers just gets it so much more pigmented on your eyelid. So the next color I'm going to take is going to be take this green color here called Freak. And with the Sephora Pro Smoky Shadow Brush number 30, I'm going to take that and put that in my crease. And now I'm just gonna pull this green color all the way down underneath too. Connect it at the corner and then just buff it down. And I'm kind of pulling it out into a cat eye shape too, which is just gonna work the best because mermaids always have kind of like a cat eye shape. Generally with what we make up for mermaids to be, you know. So next I'm going to take my Sephora Pro Smoke Crease Brush and the number 31, take this color called Thrash, basically this crazy lime green color, and I'm gonna put this on top of that color in my crease and build it up into my highlight color and then under the color on the bottom lash line too. So before we finish up the eyes, we might as well do all the color now. I'm gonna start by using my Ulta contour brush. I'm just going to take the color Gonzo and it's a blue color and I'm gonna start carving out my cheekbones. Make sure your face is nice and powdered first, that way everything blends really nicely. Start my contour. And just make sure that we buff it out really nicely. I want this to be as soft as possible. And I'm just gonna take this color and just start contouring in all the places that I usually would. So I'm just gonna try and start and bring it up around my hairline. And around my temples and this, my forehead. I'm doing my best to try and buff it out as I go so that I have less to do with each color. Take it down under my jawline. And now I'm going to start to bring this down the side of my neck too. Just the sides, not down the center. And then just pull it onto the tops of your shoulders right above your collarbones. And we'll just kind of leave it at that and that'll give a really cool like down the side of your body effect. All right, so next I'm just gonna go in with that really minty green color I used called Freak and just go on top of that blue with the green. I really just start to buff out everything and get some of the green in different spots. Really wanna start tying these all together especially around the eyes over here, so pull that green right next to it. Same thing, so it's kind of like it's all coming from the same area. You can go ahead and make your contour a little bit darker. I'm just going to go in and make that a little bit darker. 
so it really gives that awesome depth effect. I'm going to take a little bit of the green and I'm just going to run it down the sides of my nose too, around the bottom of my nose. Just around my nose, I think that gives it a little bit of a different look. Back with the minty green, just kind of building everything up. Now for this, I'm just gonna go ahead and take that lime green color called Thrash and go over this one more time. And only putting this in certain spots, right on top of my cheekbones. That kind of blends in with that eyeshadow. And get that up and around my face towards the lighter parts of my face. Try and keep this blue nice and blue. Then I'll add a little bit more of that dark blue just up behind my ears, coming down onto my neck. I really want to make sure that this doesn't all turn green. I really want there to be lots of different colors, just all really nicely blended together. Now I'm going to go in with my contour brush and take that color I used as my highlight, this vanilla color, and I'm just going to put this down the center of my neck. And you can pull that onto your chest as well. And this will just help blend everything together. And I'm just going to take this too and run this down the center of my face so that basically everything on me is like shimmery and almost like wet looking. Because mermaids live in the water! Get that right up to my brows, that way I'm not missing anything. And I'm just going to go in and kind of buff everything out one more time. And this look is really all about just buffing everything into place where you don't look like a retard. Do it right the first time. So next I'm going to move on to the eyeliner. I'm just going to be using my Sephora Colorful Waterproof Eyeliner and the color is black. And I'm just going to make a winged eye. I'm so jittery from my coffee. And now I'm just going to pull my wing up in the direction that my eye is going. I went ahead and added a second wing, little wing too, because it looks cool, and just a tiny little third wing. Now I'm going to take this little double-ended brush that came with the electric palette, and I'm going to take that dark color called Gonzo, that blue that I kind of have all over as my contour, and just run this right underneath my lash line for some extra blue tint as opposed to green. So smudge that into your lash line so that's looking cool. So next I'm going to move on to the mascara. I'm going to be using my Marc Jacobs Omega Lash Mascara. And I'm just going to do as thick of a coat as I can do without them looking totally disgusting. I'm just going to do the mascara on my bottom lashes. So next I'm going to move on to the scales. I'm going to be using my NYC liquid liner and this one is called Pearlized Black. Now I'm going to wipe both sides off like you would nail polish, one side and then the other side so that it's really nice and thin. Just making some scales and I'll be back. So I drew in some scales and now I'm just going to fill them in using this smaller end, the same one that I used to do underneath. And I'm going to be taking this pink color here called Savage and I'm just going to start to kind of fill those in with color. So they don't just like look like weird blobs there. I don't know if this just looks stupid or whatever, but it's happening so... Go 
in and kind of clean up some of this, hopefully. Hopefully those scales don't just look like grapes on my head, either way, whatever. They might just look like grapes. So now we're moving on to the lips. I'm just going to be using two different lipsticks. Um, this is a CoverGirl lipstick and the color is Spellbound. So I'm just going to be putting this on first. And now I'm going to put, this is a Maybelline Color Vivids color, and this one is Raisinberry. I'm going to put that over top of it. Alright, so finally I took some of that purple shadow called Urban, and I kind of outlined my lips on top of the lipstick with that shadow, so that it gives it kind of a darker, like, ombre effect. And that is it. So if you love this, give it a big thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, you can do that at any time. I'm coming out with so many awesome things for Halloween too, which is my favorite. Um, so have a beautiful day, everybody. Thank you. Love you. Bye.